Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Apps. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning about the reporting in quality test management tool, how to generate reports in the quality tool. So basically quality offers three types of reports. We have the test reports, bug reports and the test execution reports. Let's see one by one what is a test report. So under test reports, you can develop custom test reports with the key information such as build, module, test case status, cycle, and date. Coming to bug reports, so as the name itself says, the bug tracking report, it is one of the most important elements of a bug tracking system. And this is the report which tells every detail about a bug and how it is handled or is being handled. Coming to third one, we have the test execution report. So it details the execution reporting and you can develop custom reports with the key information such as build, cycle, tested by and selected executed status. So let's go to the dashboard and see what these reports looks like and how we can generate them. So this is my dashboard and here on the left panel these are the reports. If you click on here, so see, you can see three types of reports, bug report, test case report, and test execution report. So let's try to generate uh, these reports one by one. So first, let's, let's generate the bug report. Now, these are all the filters that uh, are being present here. So you can change it as per your convenience. Say, for example, uh, you want build zero for these bug reports all the bugs related in are uh, the raised in build 0, 0.0 then you want all the modules requirements browser status all these statuses so as per your convenience what report you want you can select these options out here and what all uh, fields you want in your report suppose i want all these fields defect id severity description actual expected comments status cycle and I click on generate report so if you come down this is the report that has been generated 20 entries it is showing all the details okay see now you can download this report in uh, the three formats available here doc xlsx and csv suppose I select as csv so preparing the file and yes click here it will download so the report is opening and Yeah, so this is how it looks like. So we have uh, three defects with all other details, severity, OS, browser, status, status history, whatever we selected in the filter options out here. So this is how you can generate a bug report. Coming to next one, we have the test cases report. So similarly for test cases, we have all these options available. And let's generate it. I want all these fields present in the report, preconditions, postconditions, steps, build name, test case status, expected result, date created, module name, cycle, attachments. Click on generate report. And below is your report. Now just download it in one of the options available here. Now uh, I'll take a different option. Uh, suppose doc, preparing a file. and ready for download so this is the document doc version let's see how the okay so the report is opening and Okay, 
so this is how the test case report looks like this is the doc version so each of the details for each of the test case is present here test case name summary priority test case 2 so like that so pretty cool right it looks nice now let's move on to our third report that is a test execution report again the same filter options I will select few options out here and I'll click on generate report so this is your report and I'll download it in xlsx format preparing your file file is ready for download and this is your file okay so this looks cool all the test cases and priority manual execution post conditions pre conditions and test scenario name so all the details are present and downloaded here in the excel so you can share it with any of the team members stakeholders and so this is cool right okay so this is uh, about uh, how you can generate uh, reports in quality test management tool and uh, there is one more option called schedule reports okay so suppose you want uh, some reports to be generated at a particular point of time so manually you don't need to uh, generate each and every report every time so you can schedule those reports by creating a new schedule now scheduling a report these are all the options report type you want a defect report any template we don't have frequency report format users and save okay it's not happening go here save as template test now template is saved if you go here schedule reports it's not showing okay okay so this is how uh, you can generate the reports and uh, thank you for watching my video if you like the video do subscribe my channel and keep learning in life bye thank you bye bye